Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Terror from the Deep. When we last left off we have had a night mission here in North Atlantic and we lost three soldiers. We lost Cooper who was uh, sniped by an aquatoid uh, that stepped out of the alien craft and then when we started our breach, I think it was Shabby Shark who opened the door and had to go away and was shot as well while retreating. And the last casualty was River Monkey who also was killed during the breach of the UFO. So uh, only three casualties this time, much better than the previous mission. But still, it could have gone a little bit better. Anyway, this was a large scout, so a lot of uh, stuff to sell. Let's uh, have a look. How much can we get this time? So we have 69 aqua plastics. We don't need that much, but uh, let's, uh, let's see what we can do. So learning arrays can be sold. I will keep probably one alien subconstruction. We will get rid of the magnetic navigation and the ion beam accelerators. That's half a million already. The aquatoid corpses are not necessary. Let's keep one. Sonic pulsers I will keep this time because we are researching them already. I will get rid of sonic pistols and maybe just keep one blaster rifles keep one sonic cannons keep one 100 zerbite again we have two million is two million enough for what i want to do i can also sell the die grenades i will not be using those yeah let's get rid of some things that i will not be using at all i will not be using particle disturbance grenades either it's a uh, I mean, they are good, but I just don't have enough space on the craft. There is an 80 item limit and uh, I have other things that I want to take with me. So nothing there and we need more harpoon clips. So let's sell all that and purchase a few things. So basically the harpoon clips, let's say 10 or 9. And let me also check the submarine. Uh, we have gas cannons, we have kinda enough ammunition still, torpedo launcher with some torpedoes, grenades, explosives, medikits, maybe a few more tasers now as well, and a few more gas cannon rounds, okay. So let's purchase uh, AP, 10 of them, HE. 10 of those, a few more harpoon clips, we will be replacing them soon, but I don't want to run out of them by accident, a couple large torpedoes, and now the thermal tasers, we have 8, so we want 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 more for 14, and I'll take more flares, 10 more flares. Okay, now 2 million. 2 million is again enough to build a new base, so why not do that, right? We have one in North Atlantic and in South Atlantic, and next one could be, for example, here in the Indian Ocean. That's kinda, kinda, okay, let's say here, approximately here is the middle of the Indian Ocean somewhere over there yeah let's put it there and it's a very cheap one the south atlantic cost almost a million nine hundred fifty thousand and this one is four hundred thousand cheaper interesting so this is base number three and uh, we will also build a wide array sonar right there and we still have 600,000 left. So what do we do with the remaining 600,000? I could pump pump the research. We still have 20 space available. Uh, do we have living quarters for it? Yes, we do. Interesting. So we have 23 aquanauts only. I think I'll hire a few more. Let's say five more people should do. 
Oh, and I have totally forgotten. I have misspelled Pusher's name. So Pusher. You need an S there. Like this. And uh, yeah, that's fine. What else? 400,000. What do we do with the 400,000? I think we can start uh, manufacturing particle disturbance sensors. And we will be producing them for profit, so I'll put in some ridiculous large numbers so that I don't have to do that uh, for a long time. Let's say 300 should do nicely. We can't uh, put it on automated cell here in the original game, but uh, definitely can sell it manually and we will need a few anyway so this is just about right so i will keep the 400,000 so that uh, you know i don't have to sell it every single day or something we need a little buffer living quarters workshop i think we do need one more living quarters though But that would mean spending another 400,000, so I don't really want that right now. Uh, what's the date? The date is 24th of January, so buying more scientists or engineers now is a waste of money. Buying a Triton now is probably also a waste of money. I think we should just wait, really, until until uh, the new month. Okay, so let's check the graphs again. And remember the numbers. It's over 100, almost 110 for Caribbean, and it is 60, almost 70. 110 and 70, okay. Should be relatively easy to remember that. And I will just check once more what's going on because I haven't played since yesterday, of course, so I need to remind myself what's, what was going on. These are things we have just ordered. Monthly costs, for example. Our income is 6 million, our expenditure is 3 million, so we will get 3 million back next month which will go into purchase of a lot more scientists, I believe. Potentially new base. Aquanauts 28 is good enough. Technicians need some improvement. Living quarters will be improved. Stores are fine for now. Workshops are fine for now. Morgoth is wounded for eight more days. That's all right. We also want uh, new people on board, right? So people who didn't score even a single kill, probably, right? So lieutenants and, and uh, ensigns and so on and able seamen. Do we even have any able seamen? We do not have a single able seamen. Look at that. <laughs> right. So I want some people who are expendable. So, oh, by the way, this name is pronounced work, as I was told. You come with us. Uh, then we need Finnick the Scout. Baron, Baron Leduc will try to uh, get some experience. Master Blaster. Overlord and Dimitar, and people from the and Busher, John, Dr. Zyman, Manafia, Anafia, and Bilgen Bill, Bill, 
Frisky Blaze, Grand Sarphibus. That's the 14 people we'll take next time. And they will have 6 Harpoons, 6 Cannons, that's 12, and 2 Torpedo Launchers. Nice. With 2 large torpedoes, I would love to give you pistols, but we don't have access to them yet. I'm not taking any Magna Blast Grenades, I think. Magna Pack Explosives, we will take only like 8 maybe. Three medikits and a lot more flares. 23, okay, 24, something like this. Perfect. Okay, now it's time to wait. So let's save as well. Uh, where were we here? As number 26. And this is base number 3, built. Hundred and ten seventy. Just watch those charts closely. Don't worry, we won't be doing this the whole let's play. Just the first month or two. After that, we'll have uh, we'll have our uh, sonars, right? So all the clips have arrived. That's fine. Hundred and ten seventy. Yes. 110 and 70. Wide array sonar is finished. Very good. And the research is completed as well. Now we know what the sonic pulsar is. And it is a very explosive, uh, very useful thing to have indeed. Now we can allocate research or on something else. And oh, look at that. We have uh, a live Aquatoid squad leader as well. Interesting. I didn't think that would be possible. So we can invest into Gauss technology or we can invest into Sonic technology. I mean, Sonic is uh, better, of course, but I am not playing this to crush the aliens uh, immediately. I'm playing this to get a lot of saves with a lot of uh, varied things. So I will definitely go for Gauss technology. The only question is now or later. I do have already Sonic Pulsars, so I have the damage output. I would love to have at least a sidearm, a Sonic Pistol for the for the guys with uh, uh, launchers. So maybe Sonic Pistol is not such a bad idea. Hmm. But Gauss technology also gives me access to the money-making uh, facilities, the Gauss Cannon. Yeah, let's do the Gauss technology. It's just January, right? Long time until we see the lobster men and such. Sonic pulsers. Uh, we don't need to manufacture them, but we do want to equip them. Definitely. How many do we have? 13. That's, that's a lot. So I will take even less Magna Pack explosives. I will have four. And let's say, okay, four, four pulsers. That should do the trick for now. I will need to save them for the terror mission that will be coming soon anyway. Okay, check the charts. 110 and 70. Still nothing going on. 110.70 and still the same. The lab is finished, okay. 110.70 OMG. 27th of January and we still haven't had the terror mission. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, people are here. All right, let's uh, check. Still the same. Let's go and name the new guys, okay? So we have Samuel over here. Your soldier is decently strong, very bad firing accuracy, good reactions, time units are also bad. 
You have a lot to work on. I think you will be called uh, Super Mario, who wanted to join last time. You are kind of heavy. Not really, but I can't put any other letter after your name, so <laughs> that will have to do. And then we have again a strong soldier. Decent firing accuracy this time. Okay, so you are Super Jack Jacob McChickens. Wow, I don't even know if this will fit. Super Jacob McChickens. It doesn't fit. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I still need more to... Um, put some uh, something after after your name. So McChickens uh, will have to go. You will just be known as Super Jacob, and you are a heavy marksman, right? Right. Next. Uh, who else do we have? Jean is weak and bad in every other way as well. <laughs> okay, you will be known as uh, Solarius Scorch. You're weak and potentially a scout. Nothing else I can give you right now, Solarius. And then... We should have more, right? Leon Lefebvre. You're heavy at least. Oh, and you're a sniper too. Interesting. Okay, so who else do we have here? Threadskin. You have a heavy sniper basically, right? Very good soldier indeed. Reactions could be better, but it's not the end of the world. And Klaus is the last one. Heavy soldier, good reactions. Uh, so a scout, basically. Heavy scout. And your name will be Niko Kuro. A heavy scout, right? Heavy scout. Okay, very good. We just need a mission. We just need a mission, nothing else. <laughs> okay. End it. And 27th of January, right? Yes. At 8 o'clock. It's fine. Then at... Oh, hello there. Alien sub number five, small. It's day. But I want to keep at least a few um, spare flares, but we may not need that many. Hmm. Gas cannons, torpedoes, explosives, particle disturbance sensors. Let's take two of those as well. And two more sonic pulsers, maybe? Something like that. Okay. That's fine. I think we have just rookies, right? Seamen, 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 seamen. Yeah, it's a rookie fest again. <laughs> I like it. I like it. So, let's... Uh, Take the Triton, go after you immediately, and let's take also the Barracuda in case they... Well, they are slow, 1300. So we might be able to... Yeah, it's a big one again. Okay. It's a big one. That's good. Just don't... Don't go away. 
still slow. And I think they might be... Oops, they might be... No, even slower now. Okay, so they will be landing, I think. Yes, they did land. Was it already night or was it still day? I can't say. Oh, and I should have uh, should have saved. Hmm. Okay, I do have a save a couple of days ago, I guess. Because I don't want to I don't want to say no save and then redirect my craft because it might be already too late for a for a day mission. I will not risk it. I will. So it's January and seven o'clock basically, and it's. Uh, it's still, I think, in the Atlantic Ocean. So in January, in January, it is already dark at this time, even at that uh, place. Still, we have to do it, right? It is, I mean, it. maybe it's not too dark yet. Maybe. Hard to say. Okay. You guys need backup. You are heavy, but take this. Okay, and you can you can take that as well, why not? And the same for okay, you can't be doing that because you are not heavy. You are also not heavy. Why is the game giving all this stuff to soldiers who can't do anything with it? And I'm really unhappy about having to exchange all of these pieces of ammo all the time. Okay, heavy sniper, Baron Leduc. Fine, you will have this, right? And be shooting from a distance. Uh, I will even let you keep one pulser and you can also have one medikit. Okay, scout again. Not weak but not strong either. Master Blaster is a sniper. Okay, you can keep the weapon Not the grenade, though. Overlord, you're weak, so please give up your weapon. You can keep the grenade and you will get something else. Then you are also weak, so this is fine. You're weak, this is fine. You're absolutely horrible <laughs> you will get uh, that as a suicide measure and dr. Zyman is weak uh, fine John the Aquanaut is not so what do we do with you you can take this And the extra ammo and that's probably just enough what you can do I'll give the grenade to a heavy soldier Busher is a scout scout can take uh, that right you're heavy okay I wanted to give you this Probably instead of that, Cancer Phoebus, you need that work and maybe a medic kit. Frisky Blaze, okay. Your how strong are you? 29. You're a scout. 
might need this. Phoenix is a scout. How strong? 30. Okay, so you can potentially take something more. We'll see. Somebody is missing a weapon though. Who will that be? Overlord, a weak guy. I cannot give you this as a weak guy. Or I could, but only with the heavy ammo and you don't take extra ammo and you don't even take uh, the grenade, maybe. And grenade goes to somebody else who is heavy. Pusher, Grand Serphibus has one. Um, Finnick, Baron, Bilgen, Bill, no. Master Blaster, how strong are you? 25, you are very weak. You also cannot take that, but take one Sonic Pulsar instead. And I think that will have to do for now. If we need to pick up some more flares, we will do that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's not uh, night yet. Okay, so 027, this is mission 5, turn 1. And we have the pulsers. First time. Pulsers, how, how do I put it? Uh, I don't have any, I don't have enough letters. Pulsers first time like this okay so the usual we check the corners this is not a corner this is a corner this is a corner so this is a corner perfect we start with frisky blaze a scout this time we don't die immediately it's already good <laughs> Already good, we have a different terrain as well. I like it. I like it. So Frisky Blaze is a scout. Who else is a scout? Baron wants to stay away from any danger. So let's uh, grant his wish for now. And you see... Okay, somebody somewhere. Uh, I don't like it when it looks like this so somewhere somewhere there fine Finnick you know what we will throw a grenade there I will not risk much and it will be Baron Leduc who will be throwing it so Bilgen Bill no Master Blaster yes you have a grenade prime it to zero throw it to Baron Leduc. Baron Leduc will pick it up. And go. So we need to throw over there somewhere. And therefore you will need how much? 12 to throw. You are heavy. So from around here. It should be possible. You can even drop your weapon to have a better accuracy hopefully and with 21 you can totally do it so first we need to figure out where are they this will take a moment there okay I think it's close enough and we have seen we have seen the UFO haven't we yeah there is the UFO it's a small one, I think. And we are very close. So you know what? You can pick up your weapon. But we need to... Be very cautious and not go forward too much. Actually, you are the most exposed guy right now. So let's put some scouts uh, in your place. Let's take work. Let's take Busher. Yeah, I'm sure Busher wants to come closer. Any more scouts? Master Blaster is a sniper. Come here. 
Oh, you don't have any more time and it's fine. Bilgen Bill is a scout. Come out. Okay, and then we have a couple of... Uh, couple of weak soldiers and some fish food and stuff like that. So you all come forward. Here, that's good enough. Something died, I don't know what it was. But it looks like... Uh, it looks like... Uh, there are not many aliens here. The turn was very quick, so Busher, you're first. And yes, we can see... And it's not a small one, it's a big one. Okay, Busher. Take cover. Looks about right. Then we go the other side as well. Let's say work. You see one as well. Who died over here? It was an aquatoid, yes. It was an aquatoid. The second one is up top. Over there. I think we will have to... We'll have to throw a grenade on him as well. Unless we want to try some shots from from a distance or something. I don't know about that. Uh, definitely somebody with uh, less destructive weapons. So Dimitar, maybe you? Yeah, maybe. Everybody step a little bit aside. From here, Dimitar. That should do. And from here, Dr. Zyman. Uh, you will not be able to shoot anymore with, a, with an aimed shot, but uh, okay. So you turn around. 41 is enough for an aimed shot. Can we shoot this way, though? No line of fire. Hmm. That's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. I mean, there's a very small chance we'll be able to shoot at him. I hate uh, using grenades, but this just doesn't go any other way, I think. We need a heavy guy as well, so who can potentially throw? Baron Ladakh thrown last time. Maybe we can have... Do we have another sniper? Master Blaster is not heavy. Grand Sir Phoebus is heavy. So yeah, Grand Sir Phoebus, you will be the one doing it. And somebody like Dimitar, yes, has a grenade, okay. But you have moved already, so that's not a good idea. Okay, anybody else? Anafia? Okay, I think that will work, yes. Anafia, take your grenade. Prime it for zero. Throw it to Grand Sir Phoebus, who will pick it up. And he needs uh, 12 to throw. I think you'll be throwing from here. Yes. Put down your weapon. Turn around. And do not miss. Okay. That's good enough. Grand Sir Phoebus, that is more than good enough. Okay. So that guy is dead. I think I will move with a few more people. Frisky Blaze. You can start moving. We need to be at least at this kind of position over there. That's fine. This guy is not looking our way, right? No. Okay, so that's fine. Manafia. Also over here. Master Blaster waits. John the Aquanaut. Anafia. Hey, I don't want to put you all together just yet. <laughs> and you can't move anyway. Master Blaster. 
goes this way. This should still provide enough cover. And we shall put Bilgin Bill over here. Finnick over there. You can go one step back. Overlord goes here. Maybe one more step. And John comes here as well. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Also, I want to save also at the end of uh, some turns. We haven't done many of those. So, 0, 28, mission 5, I think it's turn 2. Uh, pulsar to explode. Yeah, that's fine. He is dead. Doors opening. All right, all right. Not too bad. Let's have a look. Busher is a nice scout. You are all nice scouts. Okay. First. First. Nobody there. Okay. That means Frisky Blaze will go a little bit further this way. Stay over here. Okay. Then we have the Breaching Squad. Manafia. Busher. Well, Dimitar, of course. Baron Leduc will take cover here. John. Okay, we also need to move this way. So who's the scout? Work is, but I'll take Finnick the scout this time. Sounds okay. Move a little bit further so that this protects you. Belgian Bill will also go this way. Sounds right. Then work will need to go here. That might be not enough. Yeah, that might be not enough. Fine. Master Blaster, you need uh, to take a snapshot potentially if somebody comes out over here. Hopefully you don't miss. Grand Sir Phoebus will also position somewhere over here. Anafia is weak, but needs to come closer. Uh, Dr. Zyman, the same. Over there, that's fine. John. John. Hmm. Think we'll still move also this way at least a little bit. Like that. And Dimitar. Okay, try from here to face that way. Master Blaster is the only one who can react. Actually, no, Anafia could react as well. Potentially. Frisky Blaze, uh, move one step, please. And that's it. Next turn. Yeah, I thought that would be too risky. I'm, I'm sorry. That was my mistake. Okay, fish food. Wow. So they just stepped out, killed the guy and uh, went back in. So that's not uh, the way it supposed to work. <laughs> Let's scout this way. Nothing here, that's good. 
I wonder how should I approach this situation? I mean, I could do it like this. Probably not such a bad idea. Because he will not see me immediately. He will step, have to step even closer. And then Master Blaster can blast him to smithereens. I could also try to blast the doors. That's... Uh, not unthinkable. Also, I will probably need one grenade. So, how about you prime your grenade and uh, throw it to someone who can then go inside? I don't know. Okay, Dr. Zyman, come closer. Anafia. And Busher as well. Busher could even go like here, but that is dangerous. Overlord, you don't have a good weapon for that. You will go together with Baron Leduc? No. With Frisky Blaze? Oh, hello there. Somebody. It's like a job for a frisky blaze. Good job there. I like it. Next, uh, Baron. Not a good position for you. Face this way. Make one more step, actually. Uh, we might need your grenade, too. How many people do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, but only three, uh, four like that. That I, I don't like that that much. I have to say. So how do we do it? We could uh, position Master Blaster in a different spot. Something like this. He shouldn't get shot from there. And that allows me to put John the Aquanaut over here. Maybe he can react. Grand Sir Phoebus. Also. Oh, wow. Okay. Didn't think of that. And Dimitar will just have to go around, I think. Next turn. Okay, he didn't see anybody to shoot, but we know he's there and we are also closer to him right now. So, Manafia, you don't see anybody. Mm. They know their stuff, don't they? I am going to kill him now. At least it's Aquatoids, you know. They, they die easily. Okay, nobody there. Hmm. So move. And... Oh, there is somebody here. He will go that way and kill us. The doors will close. I don't want to give him a grenade target. So Busher will move all the way over here, take uh, her place. And Anafia will also move over here together with Manafia. And she will actually move a little bit. Maybe that will save her. And then we, then we scout some more. Nothing there. Okay. Overlord. there. All right, all right. Baron, over here, please. Do you have... Uh... No, you don't have the scanner, unfortunately. This is something we will just have to survive through. Who is this Dr. Zyman? Well, I wish you good luck. Let's take John 
closer. Let's take Grand Sir Phoebus closer, but uh, he needs to be very careful because he has a live grenade. <laughs> Master Blaster, can you go up? Uh, probably not the best idea as well, so just go here. And then Bilgen Bill, I definitely have probably too many of these uh, weapons. Come closer. Finnick. It's good enough. And Grand Sir Phoebus will come and help you. Okay, so who else has any movement left? Dimitar, okay. That's fine. Anafia. Manafia, John, next turn. Okay, we're lucky. Or Dr. Zyman is lucky to be precise. Alright, how do we do this? I don't wanna I don't wanna lose that equipment, so we need to be very careful when shooting at him. I, f I think I even want to like go there and shoot at him from there. Because if I miss, this will explode. We can't afford this to explode. Maybe I should even use a stick. I don't have a stick. Okay. Then... Come over here. And just do a snapshot. Uh, fine. I mean, it's still worth it. This equipment is worth more than your life, unfortunately. Busher, open the door. Nobody there, okay. And we will have Manafia again, our fish food, trying the impossible. 20. Oh, there's another one, and this one is also close to OMG. Guess I will have to. Okay. For a fish food, that was very good. Firing accuracy 43 and you hit both of them. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. So, Anafia now. Nope, you will die. Dimitar, come closer. And Master Blaster, somewhere over here maybe. John, over there. You will be just picking up uh, weapons after the other guys. Frisky Blaze. Doesn't see anyone. Now he does. Okay, I think we will have a shot at this guy somehow. Bilgen Bill has a decent ish accuracy. You can even duck Bilgen Bill. 55 is not the worst. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Just a scout, not even a marksman. Okay. A phoenix, scout some more. And now we go... This, this, that, that. Baron. Uh, wait. Overlord, this way. There's still more terrain. Frisky Blaze goes back. Good job scouting, by the way. Grand Sir Phoebus comes forward. Bilgen Bill, John. Okay, Baron, you can also come closer. And that's it. The alien missed you. The alien actually missed you. <laughs> How beautiful. 
Anafia, how beautiful. Come closer. Oh, fine. No worries. That was expected. I think he can shoot once more, but I will risk it anyway. I don't want this to explode. It's not worth it. It's 250,000. It's worth life of two soldiers. Definitely. Pusher. Excellent job. Step aside. And now... Let's try... Manafia first. Nobody there. Interesting. That means I can also use Dimitri, probably. I will put him inside here. And then... That's one casualty. Do we have one more casualty? I think maybe here. No. Who was the other casualty? Or did we not have more casualties? That would be amazing. Right, you stay there. And you also, Master Blaster. Oh no, you only have such ammunition, so you can't go inside. That's fine. John, turn around. Dimitri, stay where you are. Busher, stay. Manafia, stay. Uh, Grand Serphibus later. Finnick is the scout. So, go forward. Good job. Frisky Blaze. Nothing. Okay. Baron, later. First, we have uh, Overlord. Nobody there. Excellent. So Baron can scout too a little bit. Go over here. Next. Grand Serphibus. Goes closer. Bilgin Bill goes closer. And Master Blaster hides over there. Faces this way. Next turn. Okay, that was uh, rather slow. Who has the motion scanners? I mean, that was rather quick, I wanted to say. Busher is one. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Pretty convenient. So, face this way. And there is somebody four to your right and three to your forward. So, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. See? That's exactly where we don't want them to be, because that's a trap. That's a big trap. We'll need to wait a little bit. John will just make sure nobody's here. Thank you, John. And then Manafia will make sure nobody's there. Thank you, Manafia. Dimitar will move. Okay, and you can face this way, try to react. Alright, everybody tries to react if possible. Uh, right, then, Grand Serphibus and Finnick. Okay, Finnick this way. Nothing. Baron, wait. Risky Blaze, nothing there, Baron, closer, Master Blaster over on this side, Grand Serphibus over here, Bilgin Bill inside the craft, and that's it, next turn. Okay, Busher, you do this once more. Now he's four behind you, one to your right. One, 
One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we actually could uh, potentially shoot at him or he can shoot at us, but he missed. Okay. Now, if these get destroyed, I will not be super unhappy. Okay, I am a little bit unhappy because you can't move now. And he well, could shoot probably 27. Uh, so who are you? Could do a could do an outer shot. Don't really want to explode these things. Or are they not the UFO navigation? This might be the UFO navigation. I don't know. I think these things are the ion beam accelerators. But I don't know. I just don't know. So I can't risk it. That will do. Move away though. And you can't move away. So I'll put also you over here in case there's more. Then Belgian Bill. No, we want Finnick first. This way. I think that was the last alien, but we can't uh, risk it. Yeah, that way actually is uh, still a little bit of unexplored area. So who's who's there? Baron. Overlord. Omg. Okay, let's take Grand Sir Phoebus. Not enough energy. I think this is the last one. No, it's not. No, it's not. Interesting. So, Busher. We don't see anybody here. That doesn't mean there is nobody here. Okay, that's fine. And that's fine. Okay, so there is still somebody out there. Oh, wow. I did not expect that to happen. So the UFO is clear, right? And now... Where's the remaining aliens? They must be in that corner, right? Which I haven't seen yet. They must be. I don't want to risk Grand Sir Phoebus. I don't want to risk Master Blaster either, but somebody has to go. So we know they are not there, we know they are not there, we know they are not here, so it's safe to go outside. Same for Busher. Busher will go this way. Wow, I did not expect... Uh, another alien. I have to say I did not expect another alien. Baron? That way maybe? Overlord? There, Maybe there is somebody hidden like there. That wouldn't be great, but at least we would know. Frisky Blaze, you're gonna continue this way. Finnick? There's no way there's somebody there, so you start returning back. Grand Sir Phoebus waits. John. There's nobody there. You come out of the craft. Please. Wow, where are they? Where are they? This is incredible. You're a scout. Not here. They must be hiding somewhere very, very carefully. We have killed all of them, right? We haven't... Uh, 
We haven't just uh, knocked them unconscious or anything like that, right? I don't think so. Not enough energy on you. Hmm. How can I do this more efficiently? Okay, so this is done. Maybe over here. So face that way. And then Finnick could take a look. No. Man. Overlord. Do you think there is somebody there? And how would we find out? I think we'll go around here. There could be also still somebody on that side. There's nobody here, right? No. Hmm. No way. Where is everybody? <laughs> Oh, this is, by the way, a good time to save as well, because I wonder uh, if the alien just sits around, does nothing, or or what, you know. So, 029, mission 5, turn, who knows what, like 8 maybe, and there's a uh, one last camper. All right, Busher. Was worth a try. Maybe he went back to our craft. Let's check the craft. <laughs> Next. Okay. Bill. Okay, he's not here. And we are way over time again. Uh, Master Blaster. So he's not here, he's not here, not there, not there, not there, not there, okay. Probably also not here, we need to go up there maybe? No? So it must be this guy, right? Overlord, you stay, and we will send some reinforcements. Baron, you, we might need your grenade. Dimitar checks it once more and sees there is nobody there. Unbelievable. Finnick is okay. Frisky. We know there's nobody there. Can you go up, please? Have a look around. Absolutely nothing. Hmm. Absolutely nothing. John, you will go this way. Overlord stays. Manafia also goes that way. There is nobody down, so we need to go up. You go up. And that's it. How on earth we don't... Oh, turn 12, by the way, not 8. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's save as uh, turn... What was it? 13, right? Turn 13. Last camper. That 
it, 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 it's impossible. What's going on? Yeah, he's there, all right. <laughs> Camping on his spot, not moving at all, at all. Incredible. Okay, well, it cost you your life, unfortunately, but uh, it had to be done. It had to be done. There was no way I could have seen him from here. Yeah, there was just no way. Okay, but we did get two ion beam accelerators, two magnetic navigations, uh, aquaplastic, zerbite, 28 artifacts only, four operatives killed? When did we lose four operatives? OMG. I thought we lost like two or three at most. Baron Leduc made it to Ensign being a coward and iris mono i don't know you weren't even with us right yeah you were not with us <laughs> and still got promoted okay very good let's uh get back home check the activity and save the game as well because we are over time again so the activity is uh one 10 still and 80 this time okay fine good so when we come back i will sell a lot of stuff again maybe build a new base and um, start hiring stuff yeah it will be a lot of fun so let's save here as end of uh, part 5 Zero thirty. Episode 5 and thank you very much for watching people. See you next time. Bye bye.